Hey, nerds. Join us on Discord and hit that subscribe button. Hi, I'm Oma. Kenneth. Flynn. Zika. Cecily. And I'm your DM, Seth. Welcome to Venture Forth. When last we left our heroes. After following Headmaster Danewind and Watcher Garrick into the depths of the sanctuary here at Oakengate, you all found yourselves before the Bright Ball, an ancient magical artifact left by the god of magic Laris to the monks of Oakengate nearly 8,000 years ago. Inside of the Bright Wall chamber, you learned of the origins of Olma's necklace and how its magic might be rekindled. You gathered together and brought the sources of your power to bear, imbuing the necklace with the raw power so that it may once again serve its purpose and mask Olma, and to an extent the rest of you, from prying eyes. The ritual complete, you began making your way back out toward the Everdon celebration, but not before some serious conversations were had about Olma's future, and she was extended an invitation to stay here at the monastery. But her decision apparently made, you all made your way back into Oakengate Village, where you gathered some food, set up on a patch of grass, and enjoyed the sunlight for the first time in what feels like a year. And then, seeing the townsfolk <laughs> gather around one of the carnival games, as the various monks began to make their way over to partake, you all made your way towards the Sun's Ascent, one of the carnival games here at the Everdon Celebration, in order to watch the various watchers compete <laughs> and have a friendly competition amongst themselves. So we come back to this moment. You all have uh, eaten your various foods. Maybe some of you are still chewing. Uh, <laughs> as you guys quickly kind of make your way over to the... Um, the uh, Sorry, the the staging area. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> Christ. Woo, guys. It's going to be a long night. Uh, <laughs> Dais. Here we go. Um, but you make your way over to the staging area where it looks like some of the, the monks are kind of starting to limber up a little bit. Um, you see uh, Brim is kind of doing like like the Cossack squats. He's like stretching out the groin, you know. <laughs> um, I hate those. And uh, Brother Kalar is stone still, has not moved. He's just standing there. Um, but you see as they all kind of gather around and all the, all the uh, novices are kind of talking to one another, like, who do you think's going to win? I think Brother Kalar's going to win. I think Brother Brim's going to win. I think, and like, they're all like talking about who they think is going to win. Um, and, uh, and they're like, no, he's so much faster. Um, but you guys all gather around and uh, yeah, you find yourselves here amongst all the people. Um, you see uh, a few, you know, obviously the monks themselves, uh, several of the novices, Brother Danewind. You also see a few other figures that um, I don't know if I've actually mentioned as of yet. So you see Alderthorn, um, Shellbloom, the ancient turtle, who's mm. kind of standing off to the side, the little bonsai tree growing out of the side of her shell. And standing next to her, you see a um, a sort of uh, a, a short, um, slightly built, dark, like pixie cut hair, um, t- sort of the tan copper skin of um, what appears to be a half elf, um, who is just kind of dressed in like simple leathers of the woods, who's kind of standing next to Elder Thorn, uh, kind of a general like look of just of observation kind of sweeping over their, their eyes as they kind of look around. Um, you see a, um, a small halfling woman who is, um, uh, has like a, um, one of those, what are those called? The, the little pin pillows of a seamstress, uh, mm. with all the pins in it, a like pin the cushion. little pin cushion. Thank you. Uh, who has one of those kind of around her, uh, around her wrist, um, and is just kind of like excitedly clapping and sort of, uh, engaging in the revelry. You see the short gnom- gnomish woman, Lydia Greenleaf, Rosie, um, you also see the Kenku, uh, the short Kenku mm. gentleman who you all saw in the inn the night before. Um, you also see uh, Eirik, the very large half orc man who Flynn you had a conversation with. Um, and in addition, you see a figure you have not seen yet. You see a tall, um, furred figure um, with sort of a bovine face, um, a, what appears to be a furbolg, um, who is here. A, um, dark brown fur modeled with occasional white spots. You see robes of deep browns and greens, uh, a large ash staff carried in the hand that she's just sort of gently cradling, kind of watching with like this faint, bemused smile. Um, and um, you also see Silent, 
who is uh, kind of just standing off to the side, arms crossed, uh, or hands crossed in front of them, uh, just sort of like looking over. And as you guys all walk, um, their eyes cut to you and make eye contact. And then just this sort of slight uh, bemused smile comes over their face. But as you all approach, these are kind of some of the figures that you see, in addition to, you know, various townsfolk, um, the novices themselves. You see the same uh, group of children uh, from earlier before. You see the purple-skinned tiefling girl, um, the sort of uh, the sandy blonde fur tabaxi, and um, a just a, a short human girl that are all kind of like in a little cluster, the three of them, and they're all like ribbing each other and having a good time. Um, but yeah, that is who you see as you guys all approach. Um, what do you guys wish to do? Is anybody? No, oh, yeah. sorry. There's is- a lot of time, a lot of time explaining this. <laughs> sorry, guys. Is there a space next to? Is there another space for people? To- yeah, there's. It's like why there. There's like you could probably have anywhere from like ten to fifteen people doing this at the same time. Um, there's no clear like lanes. It's mm. just a kind of oh. mad dash towards the okay. towards the the orb. So yeah, um, I'll kind of uh, I guess put my stuff off in a corner and I will just kind of. If I can see, was Brim there? Yeah. I will try and saddle up next to Brim. Yeah. And kind of just kind of, I'm going to beat you. He, he, he can't help it. He looks down at your little legs and he's like, sure, bud. <laughs> <laughs> I, will start, I will start like watching what they're doing with the stretching and I'll try yeah. and like <laughs> mimic mimic what they're doing. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, Looking out over this, yeah. what what what's the field like? Does it look... Uh, is this the one with the pillars? Mm-hmm, with the poles? Okay. Yeah, they're they're wooden pillars. They're maybe like a foot and a half in diameter. They mm-hmm. appear to be driven into the ground and standing up. They're they vary in height anywhere from five feet off the ground to as much as thirty feet off the ground. Ooh. And they kind of like rise and fall in kind of a weird undulating wave. There doesn't appear to be any like clear and obvious path through. It's literally just like yeah, it's. Uh, uh, and looking through, does there appear to be anything uh, beyond what meets the eye? Any kind of like traps or magical, like enchantment kind of things? Ooh, anything make like a that? Perception check okay. for me. <laughs> uh, Twenty-five. Twenty-five. <laughs> um, as you uh, as you kind of look around, you don't see any obvious traps, like or anything like that. But what you do see is. Um, uh, the uh, Tristan, Watcher Tristan, mm-hmm. the sort of large plate mailed paladin figure who is like bringing the novices over and he's like, come here. And he's giving them what looked to be like uh, bolos. So like <laughs> balls tied with, <laughs> like, yeah. and this oh, appears yeah. to be the one time that maybe the novices get to get a little oh, payback little get towards, back. towards the monks. So the <laughs> oh, novices yeah. are like lining up along the sides <laughs> and they've got these little bolos. It looks like there is an additional element to this one with the, with the senior monks mm-hmm. um, to see if they might, uh, if they might get tripped up, so to speak. Is anyone take placing bets? Uh, ah. Oh, is anyone placing bets? That's a great question. Who would? <laughs> um, there's definitely someone. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Um, oh yeah, for sure. It's uh, Lydia and Rosie. You see, like the the, yeah. the, the, the innkeeper oh, yeah. and the tiny Hi. little gnomish woman. They're standing next to one another, and you see, like she just kind of like elbows her and whispers something. That, like you see, like, mm-hmm. and they like shake on <laughs> it. So there does appear to be some sort of bet going on between the two of them at the very um, least. So could I make if I was gonna make my way to them? Would I could I pass? Um, Flynn and Brem. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Uh, so I want to walk by and just Flynn. Yeah. Put my hand out to, sh- to shake. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> and you feel a, a very cold energy that you are familiar with as I give you a vigilant blessing. So Ooh. you have advantage on uh, any initiative. Nice, okay. nice, nice. And then I um, <laughs> awesome. I, I bend down really quick and I reach. To my uh, my sand pouch on my on my side, and I just whisper, "Bolt," and throw it at your feet, and cast Long Strider on your <laughs> on you. <gasps> You're going to need it. And, <laughs> yeah. And Brim goes, "Yeah, he is." <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And and, uh, and and hey, you you be quiet. He's fast. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> and and then I want to head over to uh, Rosie and uh-huh. and just uh, I want to take out two gold pieces and I want to put them on the little fella. Mm. No. I'll uh-huh. happily take your money, lad. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> she's like, she's like, I'll take that bet. The little, the little gnomish woman. Um, she, uh, she is game for that bet. Uh, Rosie, Rosie kind of gives a discerning look at Flynn. It's like, yeah, I'll take that bet. <laughs> if if I if I saw that, uh-huh. did I see it? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I don't know how. So have, yeah, yeah were you trying to be? Are you trying to the, be? Which part? The, for the casting on Flynn and I and, am, and the, I guess making the bet. I am trying to be pretty uh, stealthy on the casting. Um, the bet, I don't care. But we, but you know, but you, so, you see, so you just went up and shook Flynn. I know you all know. I know you all know. Yeah, yeah. Um. Okay. Then I have a question before I do the thing that I want to do. This <laughs> oh, this God. Uh-huh, uh-huh, um, uh-huh. Is Olma going to participate? <laughs> no. Olma's no. not going to participate. Uh-huh. No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to watch. Okay. But I, well, I, I might participate in the next race against the winner. Hey. But, okay. okay. Oh. She's, I don't want no scrubs. <laughs> I want to see how it goes first. I want to I want to see what, what what's going to happen. I I I like to know my You like to know what your competition is? Okay. Yeah, I like to watch. Then for the purposes of my end goal here, uh-huh. um, I want to walk up behind Brim uh-huh. and I want to clap him on the back <gasps> real hard and I want to go, I'm rooting for you and I will cast Haste. No. <gasps> on Brim? Yes. Why would you do that? <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, my God. Because I don't want you to win money. <laughs> oh, my God. Because I'm still mad and I'm holding God. a grudge. God. Uh, me? He's so bad. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, that is I thought you were going to put haste on Flynn. <laughs> oh, that is. No, because I'm a secret to lose money. Yeah. Uh, oh. Amazing. Put money on it, you might have put haste on Flynn. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Oh, speaker. Oh, unintended consequences. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Uh, Why? So, yeah, when you, like, when you, you cast it on he's like Brim, a drug he's addict. Like, he's like, <laughs> yeah, he's like, <gasps> oh. <laughs> and then he's like, he starts just like bouncing on the balls of his feet, and you Here's can see thing. like his fucking, the vein in his neck. <laughs> if, <laughs> if, 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 if Bestly loses concentration, though, oh, yeah, and and true. In, a, yeah. in a midpoint, yeah, he is really so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> this is gonna be a very yeah. funny, like, sideways. So, thing. you know, like, how just, long it lasts. So, uh, yeah. like, you do it, like, before. I was gonna say, I would have been careful enough yeah. because I saw what Seeker did. Because my entire goal yeah. is to undermine what Seeker is doing. Amazing. So, I would have waited. Perfect. To so, yeah, they like, they got ga- everybody's like gathered up, and the oh, monks, God. like, some of them shed their robes and stuff like that. And as like uh, one thing that you notice about, uh, so Brother Kalar has always worn these kind of like longer robes, but as he like mm-hmm. steps up and like he takes off his robe, this dude is fucking yoked. <laughs> <laughs> like, he is like, he is, yeah, I mean like this man has biceps that are like thick as tree trunks and he's covered in these like, these triangular like geometric tattoos. And as he's sort of like, <sighs> and they shift Terrifying. all over his body as oh. he like takes a deep breath. And like you can see why. And he like looks over at Brim, who is his like protege. And oh. he's and he you just hear in like this kind of gravelly voice, he's like, I'm gonna kick your ass, kid. And uh <laughs> and he's uh and they all sort of step up to the line. Mm-hmm. Um unless there's anything else anybody wanted to do. Uh <laughs> just one I thing. Think this is yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing all of this, I yeah, assume. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as this like comes back to the the the, the viewing uh, portion of this area, I'm just gonna uh, rest a hand on their shoulder, and uh, and I'll cast bless <laughs> on Bess. Oh, oh. To help her maintain her concentration. <laughs> <laughs> I give okay. you. The sunniest smile you've ever seen from me. Uh, just the sunniest smile you've ever seen from me. Okay. So, man, will just, this is like, very funny. We'll just be very content with that. Uh, I'm for this. this is great. Um, I, Alma, I am just giggling yeah. <laughs> at this whole thing. Like this, just this is just a very funny situation. Uh, amazing. Okay, so. <laughs> This, this, is isn't a, sort of like, this is not a slight on you. Oh, no, no, it's really not, it's oh, really not about you. you. Get, you get, it's uh, definitely amazing. about secrets. <laughs> um, as they all step up to sort of the line, I'll say that you wait until that kind of moment mm-hmm. to like go ahead and um, and you know. Uh, yeah. Pat Brim on the back, knowing knowing like how long it's gonna be. Right, yeah, right, right. let me know whenever. Oh, Jesus, yeah, it's about to happen. Yeah, it is about to happen. So oh, okay. as they all step up, 
uh, you can see all the novices and things like that. So uh, the way that this is going to work, I'm going to have those of you who are not participating are going to roll for some of the monks. And then at okay. the end of every round, you are also going to roll for the novices who That's are attempting fun. to attack oh, all this is the fun. monks. Um, um, good job. <laughs> thank That's you. Fun. So I think uh, right before the thing, uh, yeah. the event happens, I see all the spells going off and I kind of like roll my ass. <laughs> and I will rub my fingers together. The gold... Uh, the circular symbol on my arm uh-huh. will glow and and the, the the tattoo following it down to my finger will glow as I rub my fingers and I will reach down to my boot and I will swipe back on the heel and cast Expeditious Retreat. Oh, shit. Okay. So Wait, Longstrider, so I have Longstrider and Expeditious. Expeditious Retreat and I have advantage on uh, Okay. Cool, cool, cool. You have advantage on initiative. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go. So, okay. The way... I have that spell. I was looking at it for, for this kind of thing. Yeah. Although, I mean, I have... 40 have feet of movement? Yeah. I have like twice the movement you do. So yeah, well, right now I have 35. <laughs> there, yeah. there you go. So there's, there's a chance. There's, there's a chance. chance. Yeah, yeah. Does that bring brims to 80? <laughs> <laughs> 35 uh, actually, or 20 wait. or yeah, 45? Yeah, well, he gave me long strider, which I think increases double? it by 10. 10. Oh, yeah. only by 10. Okay, I thought it doubled it. No, no. yeah, so I have 35 <gasps> in one movement, and then if you double that, because I can use my bonus 70. action. Yeah. Yeah, and then I can use my action on top. No, of that. but I, Bryn- <laughs> I'm so ready. Let it play out. Yeah. Let it play out. Oh, Let's get into it. Okay, yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Right. Yeah, okay. crap. This is the real deal. <laughs> so, <laughs> something happened. That's good. <laughs> so, you guys all like you see is all of the monks step up, and you can see Watcher. Uh, so I'm gonna so I'm gonna go through here. Too, yeah, they Jesus. all they all have key points. Yeah. So like I'm gonna let you guys control these okay, monks okay. and figure out what they're gonna do. Okay. Um. So all of these monks are at least fifteenth level. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Base movement speed is 50 feet. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, okay. You are going to control um, Watcher Liara uh, Kellick. Okay. Um, she has a uh, she has a plus 10 to acrobatics <laughs> and um, 50 feet of base movement speed. Uh, you are going to control Watcher Jin. He has a base movement speed of 60 feet and uh, he has a plus 11 to acrobatics. And then um, you are going to control Brother Kalar, who has a base 70 movement speed and has a plus 17 to acrobatics. Okay. Um, <laughs> These guys are level 15. I'm sorry, but What did you expect? Um, I want to but, see what happens. <laughs> it might not even be Brim that uh, yeah, They could get knocked over by one of those novices. You exactly. know. It could happen. Exactly. exactly. That's one can crit fail. That's, that's what I'm hoping. That's the rogue fact. With here. a plus 17. Um, all of the novices have a plus 6 bonus to hit okay. and all of the monks basically have a 20 armor class. Oh, um, okay. They have a, the novices have, well wait, they have, um, yeah, they have a plus six to hit. All of the novices have a plus six to hit. Okay. Um, just keep things simple. <laughs> Jeez, our kids. All right. So, I just want to thank you for giving me Liara. She sounds like a hottie. Yes. Just want to. <laughs> yeah. Just want to say. Very much. Just thank you. They're all hotties. Very much. I was so. say, what, brother Kalar, what, what was the what was the word you used again? DM. Yo. 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 Arm the size of tree trunks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, and I then uh, Seeker, you are not participating <laughs> in the race. Uh, you have uh, Solara. Oh, okay. Uh, Solar mm-hmm. Windrider. Uh, she is the the statuesque tiefling, pale blue skin, curling ram's horns. She has like long raven also black hair. Everybody is hot. That's what I said. Crimson That's eyes. Everybody uh, wants to be to race is attractive. Yeah. <laughs> Very hot. Depending on your persuasion. Flint thing. I got the tiefling. I got the All right. <laughs> um, and she has a uh, she has a base movement speed of fifty, and her um, acrobatics bonus is plus ten. Um, all right. All oh, right. Yes. So as they all step up to the the uh, sort of start line, you see as Watcher Tristan, the plate mail gentleman, walks out, he's like, all right, you all have full use of your abilities. Let's make it a nice, clean match and send an example for our pupils, yes? This is literally why Oma did not do this right. She's like, she knows these people. <laughs> I'm allowed to be a part of it. Oh, of course. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Any, like, I, make sure this is not like a thing. I will say there are some other, like, there are a few pro- like novices who are like kind of on the older side. Oh, yeah, and they're trying it. Who okay. are also like cool. trying out, but cool. they're going to get fucking smoked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, um, yeah. If, I, yeah. if I may, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, as I'm standing there, sin no. Touch myself. Yeah. I'm gone. Oh, shit. Ah. Yo. Okay. Oh, oh, it's okay. All right. I'll be oh, very man. excited to That's see funny. what's going to happen here. Okay. <laughs> awesome. And then all of the uh, all of the monks have a flat, um, they have a flat plus five bonus to initiative. All of the monks that you guys are rolling for. So as Tristan steps up, he, uh, he pulls out uh, what appears to be a hilt, just a hilt of a sword. Like he pulls it out um, and he raises it above his head. He says, on my mark. 
set. And then he like says a word and you see as the sword, like a beam of light and a Whoa. blade of light goes, extends outward from the hilt in the bright flash and it's on. Oh. <laughs> uh, everybody go ahead and roll initiative for the oh, monks. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Don't monk Flynn, you, of course, you get your initiative bonus. You have advantage on the check. Uh, yeah. um, you said they're plus all right. five? Plus five bonuses. Uh-huh. Flynn. Um, okay, sorry. I was looking at spells. You're, um, good, you're good. I got a 20... 17 plus 7. 24. 24. Mm. Awesome. Nice. 13. 13. 22. 22. 10. 10. 10. 14. 14. And Broom got a 12. Okay. So, as the, as the as uh, <laughs> the the sword kind He's of explodes fine. in light... Flynn takes off and peels out ahead of everybody. Uh, the first sort of round, it goes to Yusei. Um, so you see as Flynn goes out forward and sort of rushes and you jump up onto the first set of pillars and start making your way across. So now we come to the first acrobatics check. This okay. is the second round of this. So everybody go ahead and make your acrobatics check. Um, uh, Brim is going to be making his with advantage because his movement mm -hmm. speed is currently 100 feet per round. <laughs> oh. I, have, oh. I have a question. Yes, sir. Um, should we roll initiative? We. No, no, you're, no, no, I you're, plan to do shit. It, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, oh. should I, if I'm my concentration then? Should I as well? Or are we just say gonna... if you're not if you're just concentrating, yeah. I will say not for you. But if he's gonna do some stuff, okay. it's gonna determine where okay. and how. But I'm he just I'm yeah. Amazing. Kelly. <laughs> Whoa. Um, okay. Okay. So you said acrobatics. <laughs> acrobatics. <laughs> okay. So go Just ahead. Just to close my hand. <laughs> Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Uh, the acrobatics. Mm -hmm. You got a. What did you uh, for your initiative? Uh, my first? initiative was a five. Five. Excellent. And acrobatics was a. Uh, is that a? Well, it's a four. It's a Thank God. Yeah. I thought it was one. Fourteen. Fourteen. All right. So fourteen for uh, Solara. Or yeah, Solara. Oh, I do want to. <laughs> I want thirty. Thirty. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Wow. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Uh, seven. Seven? Oh, I'm sorry, seven's my initiative. Fourteen is my acrobatics. Okay, fourteen is your acrobatics. <laughs> oh, you're in this too? I'm in this. <laughs> <laughs> That's Brim. Brim got a 31. So, uh, he, so in the second round, what did you get? Uh, 20, uh, 22, I believe. 22. Yeah. Okay. In the second round, you see as Brim now, like, hates it up, he's like, he kind of looks <laughs> over at you as you sort of juiced. make it to, and he's like, <laughs> and he like breathes, and then like a dust cloud behind him. Just like, <laughs> He's he moves oh, come like on. 200 feet because he uses his action to dash and he and like just leaping from pole to pole. Because if you right. use key points while you're hasted, it's it, the, <laughs> the movement speed is insane. Technically, yeah, Brim can technically move 300 feet around right, right now, right? Um, because right. he can action How long bonus. Is this this is all happening in real time. So, um, but uh, and right on his heels is, is Brother Kalar. Like mm. they are, he's like oh. one behind him as they're like moving back and forth. Um, you fun. got twenty-two. You said twenty-two. Twenty-two. Was anybody else higher than that? Twenty-three. Twenty-three. 23 yeah. Okay, so Flynn, you fall behind Brim and Kalar, and then neck and neck with you is who Jin. did I give you? Jin. So you see as as Jin, and then his monkey like on the other. <laughs> <laughs> And Jin, uh, Jin kind of looks over at you, and he's and you just hear this voice. Nicely done. <laughs> so nice. Jin so friendly. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Jin is is one of the nicest ones. Um, and he uh, and he sort of pulls ahead of him. Just okay. barely. For niceness. Just barely. <laughs> and now we come to the wrench in all of this. The novices. So, uh, so I would like for you guys to each roll against your the monk you are representing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so go ahead and roll an attack for me. And then Flynn, I'm gonna have you roll one against Brim. Okay. So go ahead and roll. Yeah, we are. And then are you rolling for me? I'm rolling for you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And I just add six. Just add six. Come yep. On. Why did I roll well for that one? Right. I rolled terribly for that oh, wait, one. Wait, that's so. not. Oh, that, that is enough. I think. That's very. This is very charming. This uh, whole thing. <laughs> I'm in love with it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. What, what did you? Okay. What I got did you a get? Uh, plus six is twenty-one. Twenty-one. So, think, so <laughs> you you're rolling against Brim? Yeah. I don't know if he can stop anything or anything. Fuck, you got him. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. All right. Dang. So Brim, like, out in front. And 
and then all of a sudden from the side, boom, and this fucking bolo like takes him out what of the did you, oh, what did you throw? You rolled a 21. I don't know, the, the, it's the, the novice. novice. Yeah. So oh, you, you see as, novice. Um, as the, uh, the purple-skinned young tiefling girl, uh -huh. she says, she, you see, she screams, she goes, suck it, Brim. And then she like looks and just in time to get caught at the knees by this oh. fucking bolo. And it tumbles him down, so now he has to catch up. Um, so he like falls down onto the ground. Go, yeah, he can move so fast. So he he's falls down onto the ground. Uh, what did you roll? A four. A four. Okay, so um, as the bolo comes soaring out at uh, Solara, she literally just like, a, uh, what's that word? Aerial. Aerial? Just, mm -hmm. Like right over it? Just over it, and it. Like Not underneath her hair, yeah. like straight past her. Love it. Um, what did you roll? I'm living for this. I also rolled a 21. 21. Oh, yeah. Against Kalar. Kalar? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So him, him and Brim mm -hmm. both up in front. Mm -hmm. um, your novice is the Tabaxi who yeah. says nothing. <laughs> <laughs> just and throws it, and then you see as he just <laughs> <laughs> his little face yeah. come out. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and brother and brother Kalar as well, just like oof, and then he. He like slams into one of the wood things, oh. and it, you hear a crack. <gasps> oh, and he like wait, 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 slams on into it. Yeah. He's moving oh. fast, and he's dense. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. oh, what did you roll? Uh, an eleven. An eleven. All right. So you are against um, Jin, who uh, he like literally just like jumps over the and does. Goes, <laughs> yeah, the monkey's like, yeah, the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he like does that cool thing where he splits both of his feet in the air, you know, and sails underneath him. And you hear him go, "Nice shot!" And uh, <laughs> so chance. Um, <laughs> you almost got me oh, there. Yeah. And then what did you get? Okay, I I got twenty four. Twenty four. Okay, uh -huh. cool. Awesome. But I also want to do something as Kellic. Okay, guess. absolutely. Go how, for it. How far away are we? At this point, I'd say they're like getting on like. 60, 70 feet away. Damn. Like, this is all happening. Mm. They're not technically moving their whole speed every round. It's yeah. just kind of sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. They're about 60 feet away at this point. I don't think I... Ooh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, my God. The level of <laughs> interference <laughs> we're having. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm how like often, where the hell is Seeker? How often yeah. do you get to have, like, a... So this, a like a combat scenario that has like zero stakes. Right, right. It's just fun. Oh, Incredible. There are <laughs> <laughs> no there there are. There are two gold pieces. There are gold pieces. Okay. Right. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, come back to me. Yeah, okay. but I rolled a 24 for this. 24. Those. Okay, so unless you do something to prevent this, um, you see as Watcher Liara, like, who's so graceful, she almost like, like oh. she's like walking on water and then just gets clipped right at the ankle with one of these bolos. Um, this one by the uh, the young human girl who has been hanging out with uh, the tabaxi and the, and the mm -hmm. purple skin tiefling. Um, as it clips uh, Liara and she like, this look of like, Surprise and shock <laughs> comes over her face. She's like, "Oh!" And she like, <laughs> and just and uh, she tumbles and then kind of like in the air, like flips and then lands with her feet tied together, but still like on her feet. And she's like, and takes it off and sets it down. Yeah. And then we move into our third round. So who's in the lead now? So in the lead now, Brim is down. Uh, Kalar is down. So it is Jin and Flint. Jen and Flynn. Oh, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> no. He's not actually so, me. <laughs> um, if that is uh, so, yeah, we got Jin and uh, Flynn in the lead with, um, I believe, no, Kalar's down, Liara's down. Oh, Solara. No, Jin. Jin and Flynn, Solara. There we go. Mm -hmm. um, as Kalar, Brim, and uh, and uh, oh, we're moving to the next round. So yeah. I, uh, just so you know, I am moving as quickly as I can. Okay. Along as far as I can go along the path. Absolutely. Uh, to where they are to stay within range. Okay. Um, that's all. You're pretty quick. So because you, you have what a base, you have 30, thirty, and then you can action and bonus action, yeah. right? So you're like twenty feet behind them, but you're still able to like keep pace and pretty close. Race. <laughs> Are you on, is he like on the... You, I think he's just on the ground, on right? The ground. You're just okay, on the okay, ground. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. So that brings us to our third round. So uh, Is it possible? Yeah, yeah, of course. Upon seeing the bolos armed, uh -huh. could I get within 30 feet? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, then I can, like I'll say you that. can move. Yeah, you okay. can like run around. Okay. And like, tri like they're just kind of hanging there. Like the novices are like running back and forth and grabbing them. Like there's no... I will, I will do my best no to just be like, just, just like whisk away from Thessa's side. 
And I will, would like to, upon Brim getting hit by the bolo, yeah. oh, uh, burn a divine ember uh-huh. <laughs> to cast freedom of movement because I can <gasps> make a no distance way. spell. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what does that do? <laughs> Amazing. Okay. So I don't know is, what that does, but that seems he means, did answer. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. Wait, so, so what is this? What does that do, Jay? He can't change? be restrained, I he believe. Can't be restrained. He can't be. So, as Brim is like falling through the air, <laughs> like kind insane. of tumbling down, uh, that what does it look like when the magic kind of like what well, does it do? the 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 um a a part of my bandage yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh sort of like spins out forward from my my hand and uh-huh. tears. Like the little, like a little line of fire, just like tears it, yeah. and then it like whips over to uh, to Grim and like wraps itself around his wrist, and just like has like a light, faint trace of, of ember on it as it. Awesome. As, as it, uh, just like that line of fire, descends down and, and tears through the bow. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of this fire, and like he like pulls his legs apart, and then as he's like flo- fa- falling through the air, he's headed towards one of the pillars, like one of the things as well, towards one of the wood ones. And as his legs come free, you see he like kicks really hard, somersaults over, and his feet land against oh. it like sideways. And yes. <laughs> he runs oh. back up it because he can run up vertical surfaces. So he like hits it and then sticks like a spider and then, <laughs> and then crawls oh, back up. My so I'll say he's in third place because <laughs> yeah. it did set him back a little bit. <laughs> but he's in third place. Yeah. Right, is that, my brings boy. Us to, <laughs> that brings us to uh, our third round. We're going to go ahead and do another acrobatic. Oh my God. So go ahead and. And roll for How the close are we? Oh, you, to the end? Yeah. This it takes five rounds. Five rounds. Yeah, okay. Five rounds. So we've got. And this is our third. This so it was initiative. First acrobatics check. This will be. So it'll be one, two, three more. Basically. Three more. Is oh, this going like, um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> <He got it. laughs> Damn it, he got it. Natural twenty for a Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Uh, 14 at? for 24. 14 for 24, okay. Uh, 29. 29. Okay. Uh, f- uh, 14. 14. What, what is this again? Uh, this is an acrobatic. Acrobatic. acrobatics. Acrobatics. Uh, tw- uh, 26. 26. Ooh. All right, awesome. I'm going to roll Brims here. He's still hasted, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's still, so he has a, right, does he have advantage? At yeah, what he does. point in this <laughs> can I do a thing? <laughs> right now, if you'd like. Uh, right at the start of our, of yeah, our yeah. third round. Am here. I within 30 feet? Of Brim? Yeah. Yeah. Um, what are you doing? I'm going to chuckle and uh, <gasps> sin. No. As I, uh, you can't see this, but my right hand is on my fo- on my left forearm uh-huh. and I'm going to cast blindness. Oh, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> you bastard. Okay. Cool. So he's and not he can't see me, so he's disadvantaged. Okay. Oh, right. uh, wait, 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 wait. magical what ambush, kind of, right? What kind of throw is it, though? Damn what it. kind of saving so throw? You don't know I'm doing it. Saving throw. But I'm just looking no. so the... Mm-mm. No, 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 no. Um, no, he can't because you, you're invisible, right? I'm invisible. Okay, so mm-hmm. when you cast a spell, you reveal yourself, yeah. but yeah. he does have disadvantage on the save because of magical ambush. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is a 10 on the first roll. And uh, I want to roll. Oh, yeah, here. Roll, roll die. <laughs> yeah, roll die. Yeah, that's me. Uh, he only gets plus four. In plus four? Oh, it does it. 20? Oh, man. Okay. So, as you were casting... Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 So, 14 14 does not do it. 14 does not do it. (laughs) Woo! Boyfriend, what are you doing? Oh, that's amazing. Okay. For two gold points. Additional question, though. Does he have blind sight? Uh, no. Okay. He just has his passive perception is so okay. high oh, okay. um, that he can he like with Alma. You... The way that invisibility works is that I always do passive stealth versus passive perception. If yeah. your passive stealth is higher than a creature's passive perception, they uh, don't know where you are. Mm-hmm. If it's if your stealth is lower than their passive perception, they know where you are. They just can't see okay. you and target. Mm-hmm. Like so, it's, they're still at disadvantage because invisibility is a little wonky. Yeah. So that's just like a simple way to rule it. So that's why he always okay. knew where Oma was. He just couldn't see her. Right now right. he can't see her. Yeah, now he can see yeah. shit. <laughs> okay, can't see shit. So he gets back up Wait, to. Huh? Can I do something? <laughs> You, what? what gonna, am I within di- range of, of a seeker? Are you going to try to counterspell? I am. How would you oh! 
so you know I'm he, casting. He, he you're invisible. You're invisible. You can reveal um, yourself, yourself to cast. After. Right? After. After. Okay. After. Yeah, I want. I want so badly Time because I'm like, my yeah. boy. Okay, no, no. I, it's, I didn't know when you yeah. get revealed. When you, you get cast. revealed after, after the spell cast? is okay. cast or after the attack is made. Okay, so, fair enough. Um, but yeah, so okay. you so you see <gasps> Seeker and like you go to do it, but the spell is gone. Yeah, and then you see as Brim gets to the top of the thing, and then he just goes, "Son of a bitch." <laughs> <laughs> I just wave um, at uh, Bess. Um, that's amazing. I glare. Yeah, it's almost a growl, like a skate. It's okay. So, he can go 300 feet of movement, though. So now, he just doesn't know where he's going. Say that but if he saved him he's the next round. He's at advantage on the thing, but I will say that being blind, even with the advantage, he's just going to roll out oh, of checks at disadvantage because that's That makes sense. Fun, he's that makes but he still can't be restrained because of freedom of he movement, right? He still cannot so, be restrained okay, because of freedom okay. of movement. So. Uh, acrobatics checks. Uh, what did we already went through? Um, this, we right? did that, yeah. Okay, so I got to make Brims now at disadvantage at the start of this round because of the blindness. That is a, <laughs> that is a natural one for, no! for a 16 total, um, but that is still not very good for him. Yeah. Jeez. So, uh, who was the highest again? 20 what? Someone got a. Uh, I you got a 30. 30. 29. 29. Yeah. Okay. Oh, but you got a 30. So, I got a natural 20. Oh, I forgot. So, yeah. uh, brother, uh, so. Brother Kalar falls behind as the from the bolo and mm. Flynn. And then what did you get? I only got a 14. 14. Flynn takes the lead. Yeah, <laughs> Flynn takes the lead uh, as Jin kind of falls behind a little bit. And Flynn, you just find like a shorter route <laughs> through the uh, through the the, the plinths <laughs> of wood. Um, and as Brim is like, God, and just closes his eyes and like starts trying desperately to like hop from one to one. <laughs> Shut up! Got it. Got it. Damn it. Um, and so that brings us to uh, the novices. So go ahead and roll some attacks for me, guys. Plus six. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Cause you do because he's blind. <laughs> yeah. Come on, but, yeah. But, 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 yeah. This is, but who's rolling this against you? Is this a new round who's, of combat? He's he's rolling rolling against you? Okay, then I'm lesser restoration in Brim. <laughs> <laughs> From how far away? <laughs> hey, what can uh, you do? I can extend it. it Oh, you can't. Okay. Is it a new round? Like it's a new round. It's a new, now it's if it's a new round, then that's what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah. Wait. Actually, I'm sorry. This, uh, next okay. round, you can next do it. Round. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. okay. we're still on the. Th yeah. So, <laughs> so this, so it's like this happens at the start of the third round, which imposes third disadvantage. Third so yeah. after the third round uh, is when the uh, the novices all throw, and then that brings us into our fourth round. So novices, go ahead and make your attacks for me, please. How far away are they now? They are. Well, the novices are like running up. No. How far? Oh, like I would say 130 <laughs> probably. Hey, like yo. Yeah, I'd say he's 100 and I'll say like every round they're moving about 60 feet or so. I can't do anything without drawing attention. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, well, yeah. I'd say they're they're starting to speed up because I did say I think it's like 200 yards. So it's like 600 feet. That'll take us forever. So anyway, yeah. I'll say at this point they're like 200 feet away. And like you, those of you who are on the side can try oh. to keep pace if you want. Um, but uh, but yeah, yeah, they're about we'll 200 feet away now because now the profound. speed is starting to take over. Oh, yeah. But um, so uh, <laughs> attack. So mine, I don't, I don't think I rolled that. You well. rolled an advantage. I only got it's plus six, a sixteen. Sixteen, I yeah. I, it's it yeah. Brim sort of he like hears, and he like ducks. He goes, "Damn it, Zephyr!" Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> she, she, yeah, she screams out another obscenity at Brim. <laughs> um, what did you get? So I cute. got a seventeen. Seventeen. I got a twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yeah. Brother Kalar gets hit with another one. That's another bolo. Kid. Yeah, he is. He's got it out for this guy. <laughs> awesome. So Brother Kalar falls in further behind. Yes. Thirteen. All right, Brother Jin. Again, the monkeys like. Ah! Yeah. And just Jin just. Who's <laughs> going against Flynn? Oh, Twenty-six. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Um, twenty-six. Yeah. So oh. Liara's going down. Again. Yeah, she's going down. So Liara, she like gets up to the top and then gets immediately hit against. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and she like she takes up. She has to take basically the round to undo. Her Herself from it. She doesn't like fall off because she's stationary. <laughs> but um, okay, against you. Here, give me a, a disadvantage, oh, yeah. right? Uh, real roll, real roll. Oh, oh no, wait, no, because you're not. It's not. You're yeah. a. You're not actually brim throwing. No, yeah. it's, no yeah. it's another novice. Plus six, seventeen. Not yeah. enough. Uh -huh. I don't think. Uh -huh. So it flinches not a smaller done. target. He's harder to hit. Mm. He's like, hit, 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 hit. Too fast. Um, Too fast. But, uh, so funny. That brings us to round four. Acrobatics checks all. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right. Four. So there's one yeah. more for this yeah. guy. And another divine ember to give less so, restoration. Uh -huh. yeah. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> cool. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, it's awesome. Uh, what did you get on oh, your sorry. acrobatics check? Hi. Uh, 21. Okay, 21. Two. Two. Uh, 12. 12, okay. 
23. 23. <laughs> Natural 20 for 31. Oh, shit. Okay. Jin is like, Jin's great. The yeah. dark horse. Yeah. 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 Awesome. He's just never been hit, and yeah. he's just like, yeah. trucking down, his, trucking his away. He's like, he's helping him out. Yeah, he's, like, he's, like, he's just trucking. He's looking uh, nice. Get you. He's so nice. He's so nice. He's, so nice. he's just like, just run around. No, we're 20 because he's 20. 20. Yeah, just 20. 20. Uh, All man, right. Awesome. Third 20. Um, so, in this round, uh, I rolled for Brim at advantage again because he's no longer blind. Natural 20 for a 35. Holy yes. shit. <laughs> so, wait, Brim. Wait, a disadvantage. No, no not anymore. Not anymore. No, he he lost he to him. Forever. He's lost to rest of him. So, <laughs> what I will say is that at this point, it is Flynn in first. Brother Kalar because Brim got set back a little bit. Uh -huh. And then it's, uh, or sorry, it's Jin? Flynn, Jin, uh, then Brother Kalar and Brim are like neck and neck Ooh. right now. Oh. Sol are, oh, wait. Solara, how's she doing? Uh, Solara. That was the four, right? That was the. Oh, oh no, you won't yeah. Yeah. She yeah. Fell, she's fallen she behind. Fell. She's she fallen. Fell. She has fallen behind a little bit, and then. Um, uh, we only got a twenty that time. Twenty. Okay, so but she's starting to get hit. up there. Yeah, <laughs> she's yeah. Got two bows. Yeah, now. so she's got two bows. Sorry, okay. I'm distracted. So right I'm now like, we've got <laughs> <the order. laughs> Flynn, Jin, Brim, and Kalar. So Flynn, Jin, Brim, and Kalar. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So that's we're basically uh, like Flynn is in the lead. And then after him is Jin, and then Brother Kalar and Brim are kind of like, they're going back and forth mm -hmm. for third right now. So oh, this brings God. us into our next round of attacks, yep. I believe, yeah, from yeah, the yeah, Nazis, yeah. right? Yeah, and then that'll be round our final attack. round of uh, uh, acrobatics. Checks. I'm gonna, that's I'm gonna, gonna okay, that's I'm gonna, gonna do a hit. thing. Uh, yeah. That's okay. gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna do it. And then I'm not at advantage because Brim is no blinded. Brim is no longer blinded, yep. I'm going to use a divine power. I'm gonna use divine power. I'm gonna grab a, I'm gonna grab my holy symbol and say, Lois, give one back and get a third level spell. And I'm gonna cast blindness on who are the second and third? So it's uh, it's Flynn in the lead, Jin, and then um, it's Brim and Kalar are it tied for third. Jin right and Brim, now. let's get some. Oh, you're gonna do third level so you can get both of them. Yeah. Okay. Jin and right. Brim. Yes. All right. Yes. Awesome. Uh, so uh, Sin, uh, no, brother Jin is high enough level. He has Diamond Soul, so he has a plus. He has plus eight to this save um, because con, he has proficiency con. and he has a plus three con mod. So, and he's. Come on, Brim. Yeah, so, plus um, eight. so he gets a plus eight, and Brim is not high enough level to have Diamond Soul yet. So Damn he uh, is a plus four. Uh, here, oh, yeah, go for it. And I rolled my attack, so I know what the. Is. I rolled a 16. I for think my... so. All right. Let's come on. Wait, he come on. 15 exactly. 16 plus it four. Beats it. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And Brim. I got. And I, and I got a. Fifteen exactly, my guy. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> Fifteen so, exactly. Fifteen you exactly. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Uh. Um. So, and at this this one, Brim sees you do because <laughs> you're over there, and he goes, "What the?" And from <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> over to it. <laughs> Uh, we go you over to so, to you. Uh, you roll your attack. Yeah. So <laughs> oh, 16 plus 6 for, right. and for then, Brim. Uh, so that was your your that fourth my, last round yeah. turn. What is Kellek doing anything on the last and final round? Um <laughs> Divine intervention. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wait, is this the same round where the, the, the uh, restoration happened? It, it has to be the next. Oh right. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. I, I don't think, think I'm technically. Doing it. Yeah. I don't think I can. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you burnt. Yeah. Yep, yep. I think so. so he, yeah. he less arrested Brim right at the start of this because that was why he doesn't have disadvantage on him. Yeah. Yep. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so you that's your fourth <laughs> before the final round action. Sorry. <laughs> um, awesome. Uh, your attack roll against uh, my attack Brim. on Brim oh, was 16. 16 plus 6, so 22. 22. Yes. All right. yes. Yes. Wait, but wait. Get them bolos, bro. Still he can't be. He can't be. Yeah, I don't know how. Oh, right. I don't know how that works. Wait, did, that, did you let him get restrained earlier? No, no. I think no, it's no, the no, first no, time. No, no, no. First time out. Okay, okay, interesting. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how it works. I will have it. Like, I will have him roll straight on his final acrobatics check because it can't restrain him, but it can slow him up just okay. The, like okay, the because these bolos they hit, they, they restrain hit on you. the hit. They hit you. So they hit him and they slow him down, but then he it's just that brief second of having to like extricate himself from it. I mean, um, it says they, what? they what? can't reduce the target's speed. <gasps> That's in the spell description. So it's, it's, it is, it's a spell. It's magic. It's magic. It's, it's magic. magic. Magic is cool. Magic, magic is cool. Is cool. <laughs> it's magic. I, I am a little biased here, but I, I'm still going to say Brim rolls it straight. Okay. Uh, 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 
just because it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. And he hit, so I'll, I'm I'll take it. a very competitive person, in case uh, no one has noticed. <laughs> so you're, notice. you're, you hit Brim. I just love it. Bolo, it just slows him down. Kind of like, hey, awesome yeah. like, is yeah. able to get, on, uh, get out of it. Um, what was your to hit? Oh, I didn't. It is uh, mm. 17. 17 So now we're going down. Uh, <laughs> was it? 17 plus 6? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, she, yeah. yeah she, By three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so th- now at this point, Solara is like on she's the out ground. the race. She's uh-huh. out of the race because she's been hit, I think, like three, <laughs> three or four times. Yeah. 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 Um, Brother Kalar. Uh, only a nine this time. Nine? She's okay. Yeah. So Brother Kalar is still <laughs> going quick. Um, Unfortunately, Jen got hit. It was 19 <laughs> plus 6. Uh, oh. Oh. All right. Okay. Dinosaur can't save you from All right. All right. Okay, but he's not blind. So, uh, <laughs> the monkey and... took it for him. <laughs> 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 With each other, uh, uh, what was your to hit, Kelly? Uh, it was eight. Eight, okay, nice job. amazing. <laughs> all right, so that was all of the novices except for the one against you, my good dude. So I have to try to hit Flynn right go now. Go for it. So, all right, here we go. Got shield. Nah. You're gonna be fine. 13. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Let's go, so, Lenny. my boy. Right this. now, the order going into this last <laughs> round <laughs> is Flynn is in the lead, Jin behind him. I will say that in order for him, for Jin to overcome Flynn, he has to beat his acrobatics check. Actually, yeah, he has to beat his by at least 10 because he's in second. Uh, Brim and Kalar are basically just going for third at this point. No, no way. Let's go. I no. think, unless, here's what I will say. I will say, Flynn, or Brim has to roll straight. He has to beat yours by 50. Okay. Uh, All right. I would How? like to do something. Okay. Could I burn action surge to get advantage? Fuck yeah, you can. Let's go. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, um, all all right. Way are they from me? Tra- tra- it's okay. I it's will say. Fun game. Are they? I'm trying you should have to... seen me. Oh, there. I would say um, at this point, <laughs> if you burn your bonus action to dash, you can get within. Uh, I'll say, you're pretty fast. I'll say, yeah, you're within. How close do you need to be? Let me ask you that. Uh, this is just for fun, so I'm not too what? concerned. Save. 30. 30. Make an acrobatics check yourself. Ooh. Ooh. 17 on the die, and I'm pretty You're, you're within 30 feet. All okay, right, cool. perfect. Yeah, because you're also not having to run on the fucking plinths up there. Yeah, like, you're, yeah. you're just on flat ground. Absolutely, you're within 30 feet if you want to be. All right, give me your acrobatics check, sir. At advantage. And then give me Jin's, and give me Kalar's. It's 21. 21. 20, uh... 26. 26. Okay. So what did you, what did you? I rolled a 21. You rolled a 21. So Brim so literally to has to get a 19 or a yeah. 20 to beat yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. You had to get a 10, right? Because I rolled a 15. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. he has, so, so he can get. So 11 Brim. plus 11. Wait, 21? 21. He can't do it. No. He can't, even if he gets a natural 20. Tell you what. Well, he, we, can, we can still get hit. He can get hit. Oh, oh, one of us right. can get hit. No, so but I, we already res- we already resolved all the all the hits. Oh, this okay. is it. This is the last okay. roll. All right. Oh, this yeah, that's go for amazing. It. Um, all right. I mean, Brim. I'll, what I will say is this: if he gets a natural twenty, he catches up roll. and he ties. Okay. He ties. He he won't win. But that's it. like it's a natural twenty. Spell. This is at advantage, right? The no. This what? is this one's straight because, because of the, the bolo he hit. Yeah. This, this is a straight roll. Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! And with that, Flynn, you reach up, you jump, you leap, and you grab the golden uh, the sun hanging in the archway out of the thing, tumble to the ground as Brother Kalar. What did you get? What was the total for? Oh, Brother Kalar got uh, a 28. 28 as Brother Kalar inches it out ahead of Brim. Yeah. Jin gets second, so it's first, second, third. Brim comes in fourth. As Flynn reaches up and grabs the sun. <laughs> my, my boy. <laughs> yeah. Flynn. So much intervention. <laughs> my boy. So much intervention. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. So yeah, and you hear all the all the uh, all the novices are like, wow! Because they love seeing the monks lose. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so they're all the novices are like, uh, just a bunch of kids screaming as they come around and they lift you up on their little hands and they're putting you in the air as you like they carry you back to the starting line and you've got actually as you grab it um, it is it is like a an orb of like yellow and it's kind of got like these yellow sort of 
br- uh, bits of light coming off of okay. it. Um, it. It's just like, it's, it's pretty and it's one of those like very minor magical items. Um, but it is just like, kind of has like light bands coming off of it. it. I'm just holding it up to yeah. the sky. <laughs> Amazing. Um, I am just like, just so yeah. in the back. Like, I'm just like this whole, I, I'm like, Kellick is far up doing nonsense. Yeah, over there. Seeker's over here doing nonsense. And I'm just like giggling at the whole thing. Awesome. <laughs> like awesome. when some silly race uh, became I just, so invested. I, uh, I, I walk up to Flynn uh-huh. so we, we can get like a celebration, like hug. like, yeah. And then uh, Kellick in your ear. Hello. Good, good try. I cast silence on Seeker. <laughs> <laughs> Drop the globe and silence yeah. on him. <laughs> Wait a minute, it's too so, yeah. <laughs> Everybody in the top comes like, the cheers just go silent. So it's like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's still yelling as the oh, cone of so silence funny. drops on top of everybody. I just look over to Pass and Shrug. And- uh, amazing. So, yeah, so <laughs> you walk back. Um, Brother Kalar walks up to Brim, oh, and uh, and uh, and he just like he he just goes. One day, kid. And he, like, pats him on the, on sort of the, like, the lower back. Because Kalar did kick his ass. He beat him just like he said he would. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, yeah, he kind of walks up. And, and, and was like, I was yeah. blinded. Yeah. Bro was just like, ah, fucking old man. Like, he's just, like, he's so. And he, like, he looks over at, uh, at Zephyr, the little, the little purple-skinned <laughs> tiefling. And he's just like. <laughs> and, she, and she's just like me, and then runs away. Yeah. Um, as uh, as he comes over, Brim finds you, and uh, he was like, "Hey, good job, good job." I... He's still in silence. Oh, oh no, no, yeah, it's, that's a, right. it's an area of. Yeah, right, 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 right. I will down. walk out. Oh, okay. yeah, I will walk. <laughs> out. <laughs> like, no, it was just for the moment. Yeah. I'm just walking oh, around like, la so la la. Like... Can I hear myself yet? Yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah. <laughs> Immediately, it's immediately they all leave God, the area. So um, he, but Brim walks over to you and he just, I'm gonna get you back for that. I would expect nothing less. Nice I try, Brim. I expected it not to phase you. <laughs> nice try. Nice job. And he kind of comes <laughs> out and he's just like, Good job. Like, he grabs you and he's like, You, you want to you wanna hold the thing? I mean, you probably won it before. No, never. I. You want to hold it? That's yours. You keep it. Okay. But the, I mean, not like yours, yours. You got to give it back. Like, oh, you can I hold it. No, you don't absolutely take not. It's, it's, um, <laughs> you don't. It's like, no. You don't. Uh, Do no, I get, yeah. like, I just hold it for the day? Or? Yeah, it's like yours for the day, you know? Awesome. Yeah, you can hang on to it. And I will I will proceed to like go to my bag and I will try and fashion a way to like have it kind of like hang as a necklace. <laughs> yeah, awesome. It's a big ball. <laughs> hey, <laughs> awesome. Hey, Flynn. Yeah. I helped a very little, but that was all you. Uh, Good job. <laughs> Thanks. Good job. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of riding a high right now. So Maybe. I'm going to go get another one of those honey mead things. You hey. want one? Hey, what? <laughs> I do. Okay. But I want you to think about this and your own capabilities. You're pretty special. There's no way you should have beat any of them. Huh. Good job. Yeah. And I'll kind of give him a fist bump and then I'll walk off. And as I'm walking over to my backpack, I'll look down at my tattoo. And mm-hmm. Thanks. Then I'll grab my and start wrapping things up. Cool. All right. Uh, do I see good. my money? Do I see my money? Where's Rosie? <sighs> um, Lydia walks up to Lydia you and goes, Fair and square, lad. Uh, and she gives you four gold it coins. Was Hey! Um, Thank you. Oh, yeah. I'll, and I'll give one back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, okay. yeah, she takes... She's like... <laughs> and just pockets it, no questions <laughs> asked. It's all fun in the games. True. Not like money does much good up here anyway. <laughs> and then she just kind of waddles off, off with her little thumbs in her overalls. <laughs> uh, awesome. <laughs> but yeah, she, she, uh, and Rosie also, uh, ha- she also gives you, uh, two, uh, four gold coins. Same thing. And yeah. one bet. Yeah. For you. <sighs> Good sporting. Thank you, darling. And she just takes it and <laughs> gives it back. Uh, or takes it back. Excuse me. Um, happy ever yeah. done. Yeah. To you as well. And she kind of gives you a hug. Not like, kind of. She just wraps you up in a hug. Oh. To you too. Yes. <laughs> um, awesome. Do I see Silent about? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you see Silent. I'll make my way over there. Okay, cool. Did Desley want to do something? <clears throat> Probably a lot. I, I want to do things, and things that I will actually be doing are two different questions. Uh, um, I'm glaring at Seeker for a good portion of it. <laughs> um, if 
I'm real mad. Yeah. Uh, if Kellett comes back over, I yeah. will just reach over and squeeze his hand and say, thank you. Hey. I saw you try. Yeah. I just wanted it to be fair. <sighs> I just, I wanted, you know, not that I wanted Flynn to lose. No. But through Flynn, I wanted Seeker to lose. Does that I, make sense? I picked that up. Mm-hmm. We all mm. want Seeker to lose. Yes, we do. He just needs a check. He needs a, you know... <laughs> he's the guy's so talking shit it. while he's on death's door. We, <laughs> he is! Who does it's that? It's a problem! <laughs> Thank you! I'm just saying. Ridiculous. And I just give, like, a, a sheepish smile. <laughs> it's yeah. still there. Yeah. Uh, oh, right. She, she never left <laughs> the yeah, yeah, yeah. side, so she's just twiddling her thumbs, looking, <laughs> looking back and forth between... Um, like, and Leslie as they're kind of just like amazing <laughs> cool yeah cool 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 um you approach silent mm -hmm. all right um I saw you earlier mm. uh Brim says you don't talk oh can't talk I don't but I had you in my head I thank you hello I'm a uh, Sika I put I extend my hand also trying to appraise, do I see any symbols, anything that I recognize? Uh, okay, no, nothing. Nothing. Mm. Um, what kind of humanoid is, is silent? Human. Human. So human. Okay. human. How tall? Uh, pretty tall. Five for, for um, she's like 5'11". Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. She's about 5'11". Um, Dallas. <laughs> One more time. Dallas. Dallas. T-H-A-L-A-S. And then you see as um, they reach out to grab your hand and then their eyes narrow. And all of you feel almost like a ripple go through the crowd as everybody kind of falls silent huh? at once. And silent turns and looks past everybody down the green where you see five figures making their way across the grass four in dark robes it's all the way up what is obscured what color are the robes dark black what but in the center shorter of stature in a red robe ruined skin no a scar across the neck. No! <gasps> oh, oh shit. no! Oh no! Corv? As Corvin Emberstone makes his way across the grass towards you all. No. What? Like how far right now? 120 feet. 150 feet. <gasps> and walks. You see as the monks feeling some f form of like disturbance like sort of come upwards you can see as the novice like they push the novices behind them and mm -hmm. suddenly like the immediacy of the moment shifts hard as this joyous moment of celebration is turned <laughs> on a dime as the profound wrongness of this creature's presence washes through this crowd and you see a smile play across Corvin Amberstone's face what the fuck as he walks forward slowly calmly no weapons on him. Nothing in his possession. Hello. And you hear that in your heads collectively. I believe it is past time. We all have a reckoning. I push Oma behind me and I and I try to like step in front. Okay. I look I'm invisible. At... All right. But I, yes, you still you do move that. To, you move to protect him. How far is he? Uh, about 100 feet away <coughs> from you. I look at, at this point. Like, he's just yeah. walking. They're all walking. The figures behind him, you can't see their faces. They're just black robes, hoods pulled all the way forward, kind of shrouded in shadow. But they walk, like, almost in perfect sync behind him. As he um, comes forward. Sorry, I'm looking for something Can here. I move forward as well? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Whatever. Can I, I move forward? Can I say something? Yeah, while absolutely. 
Absolutely. You can say something you if you do like. Your, well, I, I'm just moving forward. Like, I'm just, how do you guys, I need yeah. to you guys have a moment to read. I would try and find the rest of them yeah. to the group. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I'm this a- all kind of happens as you are coming back and like, you yeah. know, you're going over to your backpack where you left it by the group. So you guys are all roughly together. Oh, I just want to, I want to look at Thalys. Oh, sorry. You do. No, 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 no. Are you with them? No. Oh. And you see as their eyes like flare silver. And they turn and like walk with you back towards the rest of the group. Okay. Where's Dane Wind? He is like all, so all of the monks, like okay. kind of right behind you guys, you see as Dane Wind, uh, Brother Kalar, Brim, Tristan, all of them like step forward in this sort of like semicircle, this protective ring as Dane, like with a commanding voice, Dane Wind turns novices into the sanctuary and they all take off. Like yeah, all of, of them course. start running, like Good. booking it. And okay. like Rosie's like, come on, dears. And suddenly like everybody's filtering far away yeah. um, into the sanctuary itself. And they're making their way Oof, that way. Brim is going to be <clears throat> like unhasted soon and... Oh, that's all. I would say that. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, right after, the duration of right the after he like dapped yeah. you up, he was like, <gasps> <laughs> "Yeah, sorry, babe." But, but he's better now. He's better now. He's fine. It's and you see the like sort of flanking okay. all of you are all of the watchers of the monastery. Mm-hmm. They're all behind you. I, it, I want to try. No, I want to try to if Corvin. I want to get within sixty feet of him. Okay. Yeah. You for sure. As you step forward, you guys all. I like as We're close as you want to get. He's walking and he stops right about thirty feet away from you guys, unless someone does something to, yeah, unless you say something or do something to attempt to stop him. I want to cast something. Are the novices still running away? Are they still in danger? Or are they gone? Now? They're 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 actively like moving away. But they're, but they're still not, in range. They're still yeah, they're still close. You want to try to cast something? I do. Okay. I'm, I'm okay. I want. I want to do it. Would okay. I be able to intercept? I feel remorseful, but I feel like I... If you got it. Okay. Could I, like, just reach out or no? I I don't know. I, I don't th- I don't know if it's... I don't have a way well, to stop a spell other than just verbal. I just want to talk You can to try. Her. And yeah, you can yeah. try. You can try. Absolutely. I'll just reach out and see. Do I see Thessaly trying to cast? I mean, if you if it has some magic? somatic components. Yeah, you would. Yeah, yeah. I'll it, just reach it has out. verbal somatic material. Yeah, you're seeing me do it. I'll okay. just reach out and grab your wrist and just, and just look behind. What? The novices. Let them get to safety. I'm what a, mm, okay, and I'm I'll I'll I but I'm holding my spell. Okay, yeah, you cast it and you hold it. What are you holding? I'm holding Just, banishment. Okay, okay, cool. Good, 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 good. All right, so you hold. But banishment. if we eliminate, anyway. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I don't think you're wrong. Yeah. I, I, yeah. It's not but it could, like no, I, I know, it's, I know, I know, but, but I want to hold. But they're it. far enough. There's enough people between us and the novices. I don't, I don't know what they can do. I don't know if they can just cast a meteor storm. Probably. Right. But he's, uh, he's the biggest threat. Uh, that is my thing. Going so inside I'm, the monitor yeah. is going to protect the, him from the, that. The, the second I see him, what's, uh, if I can clarify what will trigger yeah. it, the second I see any kind of indication that he will cast a spell okay. or take yeah. any kind of action, I am casting it. I, I rush over to Kelly. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, unless Seeker displaces me, I'm on Thessaly's left. Um, I will not, but I will address you. <sighs> the Benton glass. Can I see it? The Benton glass. No. Yes. Why? Trust me. You're not going to tell me why? I'm going to use it. To try and keep myself and all of us alive. What do you know what it'll do to you? No. I don't know exactly what it will do. You know it'll be bad? Could be. No. Blueberry's bad. Yes. But? But I can't stop you from using blueberry. Mmm. I will say, yeah. This is when Corvin like arrives. Mm. So yeah. this conversation is, for all intents and purposes, ended. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fair. Yeah. This meeting is long overdue. I'll cut to the chase. It seems like you're all having quite a good time, and I don't want to interrupt your festivities. You are all. Oh, Persistent. Long have my agents hunted you, and it has been clear from their repeated failures that you are hard to kill. I have no interest in continuing to waste my resources in pursuit of you. 
nor do I wish for you to continue to meddle in my plans. So, I come with an offer. Once, and only once, it has come to my knowledge that you are in possession of something that belonged to me. A tome of not inconsiderate strangeness. And I'd like it back. <laughs> and in exchange, we can agree to a ceasefire. I leave this place unmarred and unmolested. And my friends, and he raises a hand, and you see behind him on the ridge movement. And you hear the clattering of armor as you see darkening the horizon on the rise above. A legion of undead clad in armor at their head, figures in red robes. <gasps> I'll make it very simple. Give it to me. And we leave. Don't. I believe I can leave that unsaid. How much truth do I think is coming out of this thing's mouth? Make an insight check. I would also like to just understand what Corvin is. <laughs> like, if I can, this is our first time meeting him face to face. Yeah, go ahead and I will say make an. That's a uh, 21. 21. He will raise this place to the fucking ground if you don't. Okay, give him so this I guess book. what I'm trying to figure out is like, if you brought a legion, you can take the fucking book. So, mm-hmm. do I believe that us giving it to him makes a difference? You believe him. Okay. I would like to do something as well. Um, As I see the Legion appear, I would like to make an Arcana check to see if it's truly here or if this is an illusion. Mm, Make an investigation check for me. Nice. Investigation or Arcana? Investigation. Mm. Twelve. Looks solid and real. Okay. For what was the check? Um, you said you're. What are you trying to ascertain again? I want to figure out Corvin's like undead. Yeah. But how is he sentient? Like, like oh. I want to. I want to gather that. Mm, what kind of creature he what, is? What are we dealing with he, here? Yeah. yeah. Make a religion check okay. for me. Okay. Uh, that's gonna be then a. Uh, with, your, with his wisdom, right? Yeah. A twenty-four. Wow. Twenty-four. Kelly, in your many years of study in the temples of Famir and under the tutelage of Zachriel. Mm-hmm. You've come to learn about and understand that there are many different types of undead. Coupling Corvin Amberstone's long life, his power, this man is a lich. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. What okay, I thought. okay. Yeah, that sure affects things. <laughs> a, yeah, he is, um, He radiates menace and power and to your sensibilities as a divine caster, that is like that wrongness Mm -hmm. is Mm -hmm. profound. Um, This is an abomination of a creature that should not be here. Mm. He can take the book. Okay. Yeah. If he wished. But I believe that he will. You believe that he will leave. He genuinely does not want to continue to waste time and energy with all of you and is tired of sending things after you just to waste resources I, I turn the and look. book means more to him than you guys do mm-hmm. I, I just look at everyone yeah I'm, I'm staring at you he, he's telling the truth I, I, I think so Kalik give it to him When you say those words. Oh. Good choice. Oh. Is it a that voice? Yeah. Um, 
my hands already reflexively on my bag uh, from the moment he he mentioned the book. Liv said we can live today. Get him another day. There's no telling what kind of damage he can do with this. No. But But we know what damage he'll do if we are down to it. And then he'll take it. Anyway. He won't take it from me, but... The movement... Look. We have this decision right here now. Give him the book. He has to ask the right questions, and he still has to get it the same as everyone else. He has to fight for the answers. (laughs) Think he'll succeed. Well... I mean, think of the lava. It's not about succeeding. I know. Hopefully his results are as specific as ours. (laughs) And I pull out... (laughs) I pull out... A little chuckle from Flynn. (laughs) From me. (laughs) And I I unwrap the book from the... I have... I've I've continually wrapped it in this little bandage. Um, And I will, like, give, like, a, a... A... I will indicate hesitation to the monks mm-hmm. um, and I will make space from yeah. the rest of the group. I will they walk. are all like, you have never seen a group of people so ready to <laughs> fucking throw down. Um, <laughs> they are all like on the balls of their feet, just waiting on the go. All of them. Brim is like locked eyes on you. And like, he's just, he's trying to understand like, Exactly what is going What's on. Going on yeah. um, does Danewin look like he is on? Ooh. Like, does he look like he wants us to give the book? Make an insight check for me. Oh, um, twenty-seven. Gosh, Dane. As you look back to Dane Wind, the only thing that you see that he keeps doing is looking over his shoulder to see where all of his people are. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's just like he keeps looking back to make sure that they're all to safety. That's all he cares about. Yeah. Um and and like and whenever his eyes aren't there, he's doing the math. Looking mm-hmm. up at and you can see fig, uh, an assortment of figures up on the rise. You see some that are much larger than the rest. Draped in furs, mm-hmm. carrying large axes. Yeah, I'll, uh, oh. I'll I'll see this and I'll put my hand on Kellick's like side of his leg and I'll just like squeeze it in support. I give a little nod to Alma and I look to Danewind and I just uh, I cast a repentant look over to him. Mm. I'd hope to put this in your library and I walked and I, and I walk out to the middle of this no man's land void. between. I'm yeah. gonna stay by his side, invisible though. Okay. No. <laughs> um, I don't want him going alone. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll as, join. As Kellick steps forward, um, his eyes flick to you, dead in the face. Hello, child. Yeah. You've made the right choice. And he flicks a finger, and one of the robed figures comes forward. You don't address her. <laughs> I can do whatever she wants to do. <laughs> And the roped figure comes forward. As the hand comes out, you see a gauntleted hand, mm-hmm. but underneath it, rotted flesh. Mm-hmm. 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 As the fist closes around the book and pulls it out of your grasp. As they're walking away, because I see Corvin Amberstone turn and leave. Uh, Corvin remains. Oh, the four what? figures, the four figures oh. like leave, Is... and he just stands there. Okay. And looks at you guys. I'll lower my hood. Uh-huh. And I'll look him in his gross dead face. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll say, I look forward to finishing what Alexandra didn't do. Your head will be separated from your body soon. Perhaps. But after all, who's still here? <sighs> and his form vanishes. Damn. As the four creatures reach the outside wall, mm-hmm. walk up the hill, mm-hmm. and as they do, you see a robed red figure step forward out of the mass. It's Corvin 
from up there. Mm. Waves goodbye. Mm -hmm. And the Legion turns and leaves. You hear the boot steps of the metal, the armor clanking Mm -hmm. together as it reverberates down the canyon into Oaken Gate until eventually it's lost on the wind. Danewind steps forward. And his shoulders like slack. What was that? And are they coming back? Mm. Not soon. They, they shouldn't be. If They're trying to destroy the whole world, so we can't no promise. Reason. The Red Wolf thing. He tur- like he t- it's sort of like as you guys are talking to him, he turns to um, he turns to Brim, turns to Tri- he turns to all of the watchers. He says, "Make sure everyone's in the sanctuary now," and they all poof, yeah. scatter. Like r- all of them running as fast as they can, going from house to house, ensuring that anybody is still in this. Anybody that is still that is not in the sanctuary is, is in a home. Yeah, and they and they disperse as Brother Dane when remains, and he turns back to you guys. They are leaving. They won't come back. They just you can't the promise that. They're trying to destroy the whole world. They're gone for now, though. And there's nothing for them to gain here. As long as, well, as long as we leave. Right. Thank you. Well, don't thank me yet. Mm -mm. We don't know what they're going to do with that book. We should go. We need to get moving. We should move. Where? I think we need. I think we need to reconvene and figure a few things out. We're gonna have to find them. How do we defeat a legion seeker? We don't need to. They can't do it without Corvin. Mm-hmm. Kill Corvin. They'll leave their. They'll, they'll lose their momentum. Lose their plans. This kind of thing. We've already disrupted the execution of it twice. Mm-hmm. They'll scatter back into the nooks they came from. What is he? I, uh, never seen anything like him. Um, but I've seen a lot of stuff with uh, Undead, uh, especially coming up in Andale. Uh, we had to do some routine um, cleansing of places from all the uh, remnants from the Great War. Uh, and we encountered a lot of undead creatures so they instructed me in case we were to find something like that he is a thing that could not die unless we find where his soul is kept oh he's called wonderful a, called a lich I don't know if the mm. iron light has anything God, for you there I heard of this word uh, uh, in your studies in my studies yeah, yeah but like yeah, yeah so it's, much a, I it's a um, you can also, but I would like say, rare. go ahead and roll. Uh, yeah. It's they're rare. They're incredibly okay. rare. What do you want me to roll? Um, go ahead and roll. Uh, what do you normally roll um, for your like your books, oh. your studies? These this definitely wouldn't be in any of your books. This might have been a thing like something that I learned. Maybe just a history check. I yeah, guess. Yeah. Go ahead and roll a history check for me. Yeah, straight history check. Uh, eight. Eight. Uh, you've maybe heard it, heard it, heard the word, but you have no idea like the significance of it or what it means. Um. Seeker, you can also roll religion check as, as well if you'd like. Uh, it can also be arcana. I don't know if that would affect yours too much or not, but because um, it would be they are innately an arcane kind of creation. They're eight, wizards who extend eight. their life through magic. Um, eight. eight. I rolled a, a thirteen then instead. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Kellick, you, you're. This is one of those things where during your teachings, they it was if you ever come across one of these, run, run. away. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. they're they're they're. Horrid creatures, profound abominations. Um, yeah, the uh, antithesis of everything that you're taught. Oh, it's bad. It shouldn't be possible for it to exist. Well, the uh, ardor with which we, the temples cleanse the land, is extreme. But if he was shielded by Artemisia, mm-hmm. uh, there he is. How do we... Oh, if he was shielded by Artemisia, then. 
Well, just from the temple. But maybe you said we need to find his soul. Aye. She might know. So maybe she know. She may. That's a good start. It is. It's a good thing. Never tried to kill somebody's soul before, but you know, I'm willing to give it a try for Corbin. Just ask Flynn how it's done. He did it to the Twilight the other day. Huh? He did what? When, when you killed the Twilight? What's a Twilight? A Twilight. It's the wolf spirit that we encountered in the woods. Oh, the wolf. Hey. what I do? You consumed its soul. What? No, what? I didn't. Well, you sent it somewhere. It wasn't to the afterlife. I just killed it. What are you talking about? Flynn. I don't, right. what, I don't know what he's talking about. No, okay, why don't we go I, have some food and go sit down? I don't uh, want any more he, food. Headmaster, I, I think this is okay for now. Sanctuary. No one's allowed in the village. Fine, we'll go to the sanctuary. Think, it might be best if you leave us out. I think we need to go. We no. can protect ourselves. Not from that. All right. We're in your house with this. You will... I appreciate that. I may uh, avail myself of your library. Seems fair. Come. Okay. And he uh, leads you guys all into the sanctuary, into its protection. You walk through the village. You arrive inside. You guys do have your time, but he's insistent that you at least come inside. Okay. So as you all arrive, quarters are set aside for you. Inside of the, beyond the Hall of the Watchers, all of the novices have been moved inside beyond the Hall of the Watchers. Everybody is in, and they've basically, like, arranged people like within. Lockdown. Yeah, yeah, it's lockdown. Yeah, they are, um, everybody is, is, is inside. Um, you are taken, given rooms, places to rest. And the mood of things is changed to say the least we have quarters yeah um after about an hour or so you all can find each other not even maybe 30 minutes uh, but just enough time to handle the logistics of getting you all inside brother Kalar doesn't want or excuse me headmaster Daneman doesn't want anybody outside where they're exposed you all find yourselves gathered in one of the rooms, unless you choose otherwise. Yeah, I'll go find Kellogg. Uh, you said you're gonna go to the library research? I, I, um, a lot of this stuff has been, uh, bringing up memories of me schooling. But it's a bit foggy. It's been a while since I've uh, well, reviewed. Yeah, a little bit same. Um, and I will kind of, like, under my arm you see like, uh, like a few books, and I'll kind of, like, lift them up. Mm-hmm. I can help. Sure. Before you go, could I, could I just get that moment with everyone? Of course. And I, I pull out like a little, a little scroll. Mm-hmm. And I've got like some, I've got like a... <clears throat> uh, oh, this. What? Do you have the, um, my, my, uh... Oh! My braid? I, yes! Um, and I reach into like the pocket, the pocket tucked between like my chainmail and my <laughs> shirt and I pull it out. Yeah, uh, there you go. Nice and uh, nice and pretty. Way better. Thank you. Uh, okay. Um, so okay, I'll just read. Mm. Uh, my mother used to, you know what? Mm. I crumple up the paper <laughs> and I throw it, and I'm like very nervous. Uh, so for the Everdon, looking around at all of you, uh, there are these. Like traditions about magic and and Laris and blah blah blah, but my mother, she used to weave these amazing pieces of fabrics and and she turned them into carpets and rugs and wall hangings and ugly sweaters. I wish I still had one. This braid, these colors are meant to represent the schools of magic. But more so, it is meant to represent us and our bond. 
during this time, my mother used to make us all say something nice about each other <laughs> and air our grievances. I won't make you do that, but uh, I would like to say something to all of you. Flynn, you are far more powerful than you understand. You should trust that, but know that I will be your friend no matter what. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Kel. Kelak. Kel. Kelak. Kelak. I think I think you got it at the end there. Kel. I will get your name right. <laughs> um. Thank you, sir. I've been trying. It is the. It's a weird. It's like a little. My tongue doesn't really want to do that. It's a weird name. It's no seeker or Gideon. What? It's it's Not a fine. Name. It's a fine name. You are a good friend. I don't think it's your job to protect us all from ourselves, but I appreciate it. And I, your, your words are always so profound. Almost every time you speak, I have to think about the world differently. <laughs> but sometimes, maybe worry about this moment more than the next. Just a thought. I'll take it. Olma, my magic, my blades, they're yours. And we will find these people and we will end them. What has happened to your family makes me very angry. And I'm sorry. I just not. Dear Sally. And sister. I will have your back as long as either of us are breathing. Except for during a race. <laughs> of course, that's the... And I just cut myself off and throw my arms around Seeker. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, everything has a cost. Nothing is free. Love requires that on the other side... We give ourselves to something that could break us or someone that could break us. Trust is not free. It is earned and easily broken. Power, <clears throat> Flynn. Also, Kelek, power is not free. And it's not the problem. It is what you're using it for, why we are seeking it. We all have power, great power, and we together can check each other. And we can trust that until we can't. <laughs> I love you all. If you would like to say something to people, you can, but I don't, I'm not going to force that part. It was, like forced, it, was, it was weird when mom did that, but <laughs> I wanted to say that it ended differently today than I expected, but yeah. Really nice, Seeker. Just want to acknowledge that you, you made a rope of friendship. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just like look down at the at the braid? Oh. Oh yeah. I wasn't thinking about that when I was. So do you hold on to that? Or? Uh, like the, <laughs> we'll pass it around the group. <laughs> yeah, you start. Okay. And I'll hold on to it. No. <laughs> hold it. Actually, the person, if you want to say something, you should hold it. <laughs> no, I don't. I, I need to think. But then after today, you should take it first. Okay, okay so I hope you want me to hold it? Keep it safe. Okay. Oh. Nestle, do you want to hold it? You seem upset. <laughs> I seem upset about what? Well, you just said, oh. Well, I didn't realize. I wasn't sure. Here, just he... take it. Here. No. I... No, no, here, I... and I'll just put it in her hand. <laughs> <laughs> just take it. Oh, my. Looks good. Thank you. I put it. I put it back. Rose keeping it. 
Seeker, I'm going to think about something to say back because that wasn't good. But I just, um, I want to figure out about what we're dealing with. But I, yeah, thank you. That was nice to take a break from this. And yeah, we had a moment. We, uh, we did. We are kind of a group, huh? Kind of a little team that I, I'm the leader of, right? We're all the agents of repair, Flynn. There is no leader. It is hey, more of a, Okay, I mean, it is more of a. I just, like, pick up my little sunball and <laughs> <laughs> like, look at it. The, the, the organization has more of a straight line. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Equal. We're like, we're like all on a council of each other. Got it. Uh, ready? To do what? We're gonna go to the library, see what we can dig up. There's gotta be something about. Dig what? upon. Lit- who? Liches. Who? Liches. And, oh. Uh, well, I want to read a little bit uh, about the war, about um, the Archfey the Angels. Oh, right. That... This seems like the kind of place that might actually have some useful uh, literature on that. Oh, and there's that one. Who's the... Who's the... Downwalk? Oh, wait, Master sorry. Scriven. The Dragonborn? The one with Dolores. Um... Oh, that's Tristan. Tristan. It's Watcher Tristan. Oh, with, uh, the ar- with, with the plate man. With the armor, yeah. I'm going to try to find that one with the Laris uh, sigil, mm. uh, Tristan. I guess I, I guess I could help with the the Fae thing since I've. It's like the one thing I kind of know about in terms of books. I really wanted to go hit something though. You Aren't could you? go hit something, Tesla. It's all right. I'm sure there's draining grounds. There's got to be. Maybe you want to show you to they subject they yourself to torture. Beasts. <laughs> well, but if I can help, it seems important. So, but maybe I could go punch something first. Yeah, I can show you where the training rooms are. Thank you, Oma. <laughs> Please. Yeah. You head uh, towards the Hall of Fists. <laughs> everyone, uh, everyone be safe. Yes. We don't know no. that they've all left yet. Yeah, keep an eye out. No leaving without each other. Right. Do you all have some ink? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, don't I don't, but I, I can do. cast spells to communicate. All right. You don't? Well, I'm going to be with Kellex, so he can cast a spell. Just take it. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Pocketed. They give it out so freely anymore. I used to oh, be yeah, Infinite supply of that? Where, where's it coming I, from? It get, it makes a new one every That's day. Oh, all right. right. No, I have ink. It was just more about the lack of supply that I felt. Well, it's fine. She wanted to be the only one that had ink. She doing okay? I don't know. Okay. I'm... Are you right here? I'm right here. Hello. <laughs> You said the, okay, never mind. Okay, it's okay. Um, <laughs> that was really okay? nice. Oh, the, sorry. the rope of friendship chat was nice. It was. It was so, really so, wonderful. So thank you for that, mm-hmm. you. speaker, mm-hmm. and I'll like give him a little. Like, I'll just like lean on his body, <laughs> like <laughs> like just a lean, <laughs> just mm-hmm. as like a thank you. <laughs> I will accept it. I'll pat your head. Uh, <laughs> um, and then you're welcome. Okay, um, Hall of Fists is this way, library's that way, um, Tristan, I don't know, he wanders. <laughs> Usually anywhere he can <laughs> he look at himself in a reflective surface. He likes to look at them, oh, that, that kind of fits Lars. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll just ask others, other watchers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe, no, they probably won't be in the baths right now, the hot springs. Not very safe. Oh, well. All of this? Mm-hmm. Library. Correct. Okay. You two make your way to the Hall of Fists, and as you get there, um, you're not the only ones who mm-hmm. have some unexpressed mm. energy that you need to get out. You see several of the uh, the other monks mm-hmm. are already kind of sparring and stuff like that. Brim and Brother Kalar are, like, going at it. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, as well as uh, Tristan and um, Salah <laughs> are also, um, yeah. like... I'll square up with this. <laughs> Oh my, I don't want to fight you. <laughs> I just imagine Oma running forward and be like, what? <laughs> sorry. That, like, took that moment. Like, I don't funny. know what Oma does. I'm sorry. I just okay. pictured her sprinting at that point. Oma, I don't want to fight you. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I mean, it just uh, popped into my head. Uh, um, but yeah, you square up with Bess. Come on. It's just training. But I, maybe, I think maybe to make it fair, I should take my armor off and... 
Okay, take, take your my swords off. off. Okay, okay, take your swords off. So I'm going to take off my <laughs> chainmail and okay. my swords. I will leave the belt of uh, hill giant strength. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're going to need smart. it. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. And I won't take off the circle or anything, but I don't, yeah, bringing swords to a fist fight feels <laughs> kind of messed up, especially with Ulma, so like... Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah. yeah, you can square off. All right, so you got, yeah, as, and as you two, yeah, like run towards each mm-hmm. other and start dodging and weaving, uh, we'll cut over yeah. to the library where the boys, um, the walk boys, in. the boys, the boys, the boys, um, you walk into a space, um, a cavernous space carved out from the bedrock of the, um, the mountain itself. All of the books and are on the shelves. They're all in stone shelves. The stone like almost rising out as if it was shaped from the rocks. There are, mm. There's no wood. Everything's stone um, beyond like the occasional bench and things like that. But as you walk in, it's actually kind of impressive how large of a collection the library here has. Mm. And as you do arrive, you see sort of um, just very slowly with a cart walking a an ancient silver dragonborn who is sort of hunched at the shoulders a little <laughs> bit, um, you know, half moon kind of spectacles far down on the snout, um, who is just kind of very slowly putting books back. Um, and you all enter into this library. It is quiet. Um, there are the occasional, like, um, I don't want to say plush, because <laughs> that is not a term that describes anything. Uh, in this place. The <laughs> but it, it, there are like relative chairs that are relatively <laughs> comfortable to sit in for long periods mm-hmm. of time to read. <laughs> um, there are some tables and things like that. Those are there are you know wood pieces of furniture and that sort of thing. Um, but um, you all enter into the space, and what is it that you're looking for? Yeah, I would ask that this appears to be the, the librarian or the yeah. Oh yeah. Um, uh, hello, um, uh, Headmaster Danwin said we could uh, partake of your your library here. Indeed. Word has already been sent. <laughs> Good. Um, yeah. Could you perhaps guide me? Um, we're looking for a couple of things. We want to read up on um, ditches. And uh, if you have anything about the Great War, the Angels in the Archway, perhaps. Weighty subject matter. I, that's uh, that's where, how we do our business. Within the weighty subjects. I have something. <laughs> and um, he takes you back, like, uh-huh. deep into the f- stacks. Um, winds through for quite a bit of ways and eventually gets to a doorway. Reaches into his belt, pulls out a ring of keys. Reaches, unlocks, opens the door, walks you in. And here you see a much smaller room. Um, stone shelving. Mm-hmm. And all of the books in here appear very old. Um, it smells of like parchment and it smells very dry in here. Um, just like, yeah, just got that book, that smell of like leather and, and parchment. Mm -hmm. Um, and, um, he walks over to one of the shelves, reaches up, (sighs) pulls book down, like a thick tome, uh, kind of a nondescript green, like deep green leather cover, um, that is, uh, very, very faded, um, very well worn. He doesn't like grab it. It is like very carefully pulled out. Like it's wrapped up in probably some form of like oil cloth, cloth sack or something like that. Mm-hmm. Brings it over to a stand where he very carefully undoes it. Mm-hmm. And then like very, very gently using the sort of claws of his dragonborn, he flips. Um, you see, he sort of undoes the leather and, um, he says, now, this toe is very old. I expect the utmost care to be taken with it. Of course. Offices are not typically allowed in here, nor are guests, but Brother Danewind insisted. But be careful. I thank you for your trust. We can call it that. I'll keep my eyes on you. Please, by all means. Ah. The title on the cover uh-huh. says, The Ending of the Great War, An Examination of the Divine Schism. Dated 5418 PD. He walks over, finds an additional book, similar. Brings it over, places it on a second stand. Title on this book, 
Between Realms, A History of the Face Drive. Who's reading what? Secret, you're here too, right? No. No? No, I went to go find... Oh, you. right. You, okay. I think you went to go I'm sorry, find you went to find... Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. If I could... I mean, I'll take whatever book you don't take, but first I want to like look through the books that I have in my under my my arm too. Right, okay. Which ones are those? So I have you? basically... Basically, it's just... Uh, it's it's the... I have two books from Hayfree. They're like just about spells. I just... I don't know if there's anything in there. Oh, okay. But then okay. I also have Chath's um, Beastary. Right. And I'm, I think... I, I'm not sure, but I'm just going to skim through the whole thing page to page, right. depending okay. on how long we can be here. I'll do mm-hmm. that first, and then I'll look at whatever book that... Okay. Kelly doesn't choose. I mean, depending on how long that takes him, I would do both. Uh-huh. Or, yeah. or, or, or I'm happy to, to... Yeah, whatever whatever works. Okay. Uh, but I would start with the Divine Schism. Okay. All right. As you begin to go through the book, um, I'm going to give you kind of the high level and then send you some particular stuff later because there's a lot to go through here. Okay. It's probably yeah. going to take you like Jeez. the better part of several hours to actually sit down and go through the yeah. entirety of the book. Okay. Can't wait. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Super fun. D&D um, D homework. <laughs> that's right. And uh, for the sake of our audience, I won't do that. That's, uh, this is a long article. Um, but um, the sections, that is what I will kind of walk you through. So there are a few different sections. Um, okay. The first is basically what is referred to as the Aether Awakening. Mm. Um, this part is actually familiar to you. Mm-hmm. This is stuff you've known and, and, and had heard about for a long time, but it effectively talks about the ending of, or the uh, the Great War itself, mm-hmm. um, where um, Ondil, Gondaldir, and Kaldur were locked in this horrible conflict. Mm-hmm. Mortals were pulling in uh, sources of power that they didn't understand and couldn't hope to control, mm-hmm. ripping things from the elemental planes, and engaging in necromancy to raise armies of undead to continue mm-hmm. to fight uh, the uh, uh, Elric, with the one of the sec- the second king of Kaldur, Megan all of pet. that, yeah, yeah. making uh, letting a one of the demon lords into the world. Mm-hmm. Um, it all goes into that and mm-hmm. talks about how, as the gods looked down and saw the destruction that their creations had wrought, they cried their tears, and those tears were given wings and hair and became the first angels and mm-hmm. were born of the gods. The It goes into the ending of the Great War, how the host of heaven came down. And even with the host of heaven's power, it still took nearly, it took a little over a year for Calathor and the Dawnhammer and the rest of the angels to drive back the darkness. Mm -hmm. And, but then it goes into some things that um, are less familiar to you. In the wake of the Great War, as the angels came down, they were new to the world. They were just born. And... Many of them, through their time, even that brief amount of time, were began to yearn for the material plane. They felt a connection to it. Mm. And that connection kind of almost, com- I don't, don't know if it transcended so much as at least competed with sort of the divine mandate that they had received. Mm-hmm. Mm. And at the end of the Great War, the angels themselves gathered in what was called the Celestial Conclave. Um, Calathorin led a gathering of the angels in Primordia, where they were basically to decide what to do. Um, would they return to the high mountain? Would they remain? And the it's kind of murky, but the gods effectively gave them the choice because they wanted to give these newest of their creations the same choice that they gave everything else that they had made. And there was, it was divisive. Um, some of the angels wished to stay and others viewed that as a dereliction of their duty mm-hmm. and a, sort of almost a betrayal of their divine mandate. Mm-hmm. Um, the compromise in the, the conclave was pretty bitter and there were like alliances that soured um, and a lot of different just, it, it just wasn't a great time for lack <laughs> of a better term. Um, and Calathorn eventually pr- uh, proposed a compromise that those who wish to remain could, Mm. but in doing so, would give up their rights to return to the High Mountain Uh and instead anchor themselves to the material plane and become a part of it. Okay. The compromise was met with mixed feelings and many chose to stay. Um, Many, of course, returned, but the arguments definitely grew bitter and there were a lot of, um, there was a lot of unresolved feelings on either side. Again, many of the angels thought that those who decided to remain were betraying them. And the angels who decided to remain um, didn't like them. They they thought, why do we need to give up our rights to return to the high mountain? Why is that fair? Yeah. Um, and they remained. And in doing so, they transformed. 
giving up their divine rights, their divine heritage, and instead anchoring themselves in the material plane. And those who decided to remain became the first of the Archfey. And in the aftermath, some of the angels felt a very profound betrayal, um, and a lot of insults got hurled on either side, and the tension really never went, it went unresolved, for lack of a better term. And then this book goes into list many of the angels, their names, hmm. and the ones that stayed, and what they then became. Mm -hmm. Some of the names, I'll go through some of them, but I'll send you the vast majority. And again, there's more detail here. Celestara, servant of Laurus and an angel of the dawn, who was Calithorin's second, took up the mantle of Titania, and okay. herself to the land, okay. became known as the Dawn Lady. Zarel, the Dust Warden, mm -hmm. one of the most powerful servants of Famir, also decided to remain. Raktajan, a warrior in service to Fenra, whose passion and fury was legendary even amongst the angels, remained on the material and took up the name the Red King, and there are others. Do I see um, Dalmuk or Ayana anywhere in these in this text? Ayana being an angel, Dalmuk, mm -hmm. Narchfe. You don't see Ayana. Okay. You see Severon, a tactician and brilliant mind in service to a tear who was instrumental in the victories of the Great War. Uh -huh. Remained, fled to the north, and took up the mantle of Archfey Dalmuk. Okay. Got your name, man. And I will send you the rest. Okay. But there's okay. more. I... Of course. So I really am related to it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lynn, I will say that you take the vast majority of time to go through the books that you do have. Um, the Chath's book yeah. doesn't have anything on okay. it. Yeah, I decided to look. Yeah, you, you skim through I'll it pretty skim, quickly yeah. and, and you, uh, you, yeah, you... Um, don't find anything. You don't find anything. Um, and then you can either choose to kind of go through the books that you have, mm -hmm. uh, or you can try the, the Fate War book. I'll, uh, at the, uh, this may have not found anything in my book. Mm -hmm. I'll just like look at the other ones and be like, I don't really think there's gonna be anything in these spell books. Okay. So I'll just look at the other book and I'll look through it. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. And you Way said it was go. Good <laughs> choice, <laughs> Glenn. <laughs> it was Glenn. Glenn. Uh, say again. It was called, what was the book called? Uh, this is called something something. Fae. Something, something fae, fae. Yeah. Let me get my notes. There's a lot of shit in no here. Um, um, write down, which I write. Between realms, a history of the face strife. So, this book goes on about five thousand, between four and five thousand years ago. Um, the dates are like a little bit murky. There was effectively a lot of tension between, and this is a much shorter book. Um, there was tension between the Archfey and the Host of Heaven that was still unresolved from the Great War. They had never really gotten along. Um, and effectively, the Dusk Warden, Zarel, former agent of Famir, gathered some of the other Archfey and rallied them to his cause. And they began claiming portions of the material plane as part of their domain in an attempt to seek and expand their influence. As this happened, basically, they fucked around and found out, and the host of heaven, led by Calithorin, once again returned to the material plane. And the initial skirmishes kind of took place in the ethereal borderlands between the elemental planes and the material reigns. Many of the Fae had scattered to the elemental planes and took on up residence there. Um, however, as the forces of Zarel and his allies grew bolder, the battles kind of spilled out into the material plane again, and many people suffered as a result. The Fae were split in the conflict. Um, some, still feeling beholden to their divine heritage, did side with the angels and the gods, among them Titania, Oberon, and the River King. Um, but among those who sided with Zarel were Dalmuk, one of the four foremost tacticians of the Great War, and a prior servant of Tyr, the Snow Queen, the Lord of the Hunt, the Red King, the Queen of Night and Magic, and the Queen of Witches, several others besides, believing their power granted them dominion over the material plane. 
Zarel aligned with Dalmuk, and they attempted to outmaneuver the host of heaven. And they, the two of them together thought they could win. But tensions began to arose between the two over the years of the war. Dalmuk, ever the tactician, sensing an opportunity to amplify his own power, secretly communicated with Boreas, the lord of the north wind. Mm. Who hated but, Zarel. Uh, okay. For a previous entanglement having to do with Boreas's daughter. And they together plotted Zarel and his downfall. In a battle, the climactic battle at the end of the war, Dalmuk turned. The Dusk Warden and the Dawnhammer pitted their strength against each other, but Calathorn emerged victorious. And as punishment, he banished Zarel to a lightless place where things could not grow. <gasps> a sprawling wasteland of the abyss that came to be known as the Umber Wastes. Mm-hmm. And there, Zarel took up residence and fashioned himself a mighty fortress to dwell in shadow and took up the new moniker, the Prince of Shadows. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> That's Zarel. <laughs> God damn it. This is bad. God Secret. damn it. But I don't know any of this. <laughs> None well, of you, you can read this book, though. I yeah. actually... Wait. Um, <laughs> Seeker. What? I wanted to change uh-huh. and actually just do a quick... Uh, and actually look for silent instead of... Uh, As you're changing... Or sorry, you change your mind. You change my mind. You're changing yeah. your clothes. Yeah, yeah. Change, yeah. It's like, why are you changing? But okay. <laughs> um, it doesn't take Fresh you long <laughs> because silent finds you. Oh. Yeah. Comes up to you. There is something that I need to tell you. You must go. Quickly. Things are moving. The war front will advance. A former compatriot of your friend, right now, sails the sea north to Stillgate. Captain Vossen is on his way to Stillgate to assassinate the Queen of Ondale. How, wh- How do you know this? Who are you? You're alone in a hallway. With Silent. Their eyes flash silver. And their skin turns alabaster as they grow and swell. And wings sprout from their back. Their voice changes. A messenger from your Lord Loris. We'll pick up there next time. What? What happened? <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, oh my Faye, god! Angels oh. and angels and Faye. Yeah. I'm so relieved we played next week. <laughs> so much stuff, lots to digest. Thankfully, oh. you get a week to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate uh, you. I feel sick. <gasps> Goodbye, nerds. Goodbye, nerds. Look at Hazel's face. Hey, nerds. Russ here. Uh, if you're enjoying Venture Forth, please like, follow, and subscribe on whatever platform you're using. And make sure to tell your friends, you know, and your family, and the person walking on the side of the street, all of those things. Just yell out that you love Venture Forth. <laughs> and if you're interested in going the extra mile, please check out our Patreon. Uh, there's a link in our description. It really supports us as a whole. We wouldn't be able to do it without our patrons. And you get access to some really cool bonus content. So if you want to see us off the screen, off the podcast, doing silly things, that's where to go. Bye, nerds. Do, 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 do.